When will AI replace Angular developers? Oh, don't worry. Those old Angular developers will still be around, stubbornly coding reactive forms while AI writes their obituaries. They'll be the last to know. I think the answer is self-explaining. As a front-end or as a pure back-end developer, you probably felt that AI is way ahead of us with all these models, LLMs, APIs, different AI providers. And I felt the same until I built my chatbot in just one hour that uses Angular front-end and NestJS back-end that can send queries to the LLM and get an answer. And yes, this is a wrapper around ChatGPT, but I built it in just one hour with so-called wipe coding and you can't ignore this anymore. In reality, it's so simple to use these APIs that you simply have to learn them and explore the ways how you can introduce them to your applications to improve the user experience. And now I'm going to show you the simple example of introducing AI to the application. And talking about front-end, it's just a simple angle application that has a microphone button that you see right here. It has the state for recording or thinking while the audio is being sent to the backend. It has signals for different states and it has an audio bot service that connects to the WebSocket and sends the data to the backend. And the backend is even more simple. It's a NestJS application that accepts the audio via WebSockets, passes it to three different models and provides the response. And on the backend, it's a simple NestJS application which has one controller with WebSockets, which accepts the audio buffer from the front end and passes it to the service. And the service is where all the magic happens and it uses three different models. One is for speech to text, it uses the GPT-40 mini transcribe and extracts the message from the audio. The next text to bot service passes this message to the chat GPT-40 mini, extracts the response, and, and then we pass this response to convert it from text to speech with the TTS1 HD model of OpenAI. And then after we've got all the responses from the three models, we can simply return this audio file to the front end. And this is not a rocket science, but pretty much common knowledge nowadays. And with such a kindergarten level of programming, you can do such amazing things. And what amazes even more is the fact that there is a platform Hugging Face, which is effectively like a GitHub bot for LLMs. And there are more than 2 million different models which can do anything. Text generation, image to text, text to image, text to video, text to speech, text to 3D depth estimation, object classification, literally anything. And most importantly, you can use all these models in your application. Like if you have front-end knowledge and back-end knowledge, introduce this to your web app or mobile app or any API and sell this to your clients as they use it. And you don't have to share the data with OpenAPI or a different LLM provider. You can download this model and deploy it on-premise or in a cloud infrastructure. Of course, it will cost something, but you can charge your clients for that. And you simply cannot ignore anymore what capabilities AI can introduce to our applications. So if you like this guide, how to introduce AI to your applications, press the like button, subscribe to my channel and share with me how are you using AI in your web applications.